pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. Ryan Suckup, the man tasked with getting this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. here on first down a dump off to Smallwood and this one will go to the 28 yard line call it a gain of three and it'll make it second down so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game get your best players into space with the football in their hands that's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field a first carry now for Wendell Smallwood. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just... Get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at the 45. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, Derrick Henry, he wound up finishing seventh in the league in rushing, 1,059 yards. But, gosh, he got nearly a quarter of those in week 14. Yeah, it took a while for him to get going this year and the Titans to get going utilizing him because he was averaging less than 40 yards a game until week 14. And then Fish with 585 yards in his last four games. They want to 
with that type of production throughout the season. So going into 2019, the word for Derrick Henry, consistency. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Nigel Bradham brings him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face a third down. Fake to Henry. Now Mariota. Flush to his right. And he finds his target. It's sharp. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A first red zone opportunity for the Titans. They've got a first and goal to go at the 7. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second and goal from inside the five. Three, three, three. will be caught at about the six. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Delaney Walker, a five-yard touchdown. And the Titans have taken a first-quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This fielded at the 2. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Possession back to Philadelphia here and for the Eagles, you know, six weeks ago, if you take a step back, all look lost. And then the Eagles able to win five of their last six, get the six and final spot in the playoffs. It came up just a little bit short against New Orleans. Just a little bit short, but remember, they had a bunch of games on the road down the stretch in order to make this happen. And they got it done to get to the playoffs. So I thought a remarkable finish for head coach Doug Peterson and the leaders of his team. Never let the locker room get away. Hung in there and battled. Nick Foles playing for Carson Wentz. The defense, a bunch of no-names coming together and playing well. I still think the future is awfully bright in Philadelphia if they have health in 2019. Foles. It's brought in left side by Tate. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he connects with Ertz. That one goes for 24 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. 
Here's Foles. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 19 yards on the pick up there. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man open. It's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz from four yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Charles, big picture for the Titans. That's three straight years now at 9-7. and seven. And, of course, this past year had the Colts on their home turf with a chance to get into the playoffs, could not get it done. So a little bit of disappointment going into the offseason. Certainly. They were number eight overall on defense. They played better than expectations there. But the offense really struggled, especially in the passing game. Just number 27 in passing in the NFL. They've got to get Marcus Mariota healthy. They've got to get him throwing the football downfield and connecting. And they need to get Derrick Henry going faster in the running game. He came on late, but the early part of the season, not up to par. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. One, one. Two, two. To throw Mariota. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. From the gun, Mariota. Smith catches left side. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chris Long in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Now a second down throw for Mariota. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Titans on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and a mile. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. 
On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep is Darren Sproles. Sproles, the return. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Daquan Jones. Continuing to fight downfield, the big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. On play action, they'll throw. Over the middle complete, that's Tate. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Buying time to his left. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the safety, Kenny Baccaro. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do, to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. Following the interception here, Mariota. He finds Corey Davis. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Second down, Mariota. Steps away to his left. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Let's go. First down, Mariota. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again, Mariota on second and ten. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tajay Sharp, the intended receiver, and it's third down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but... Only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Here's Mariota, eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. One, one, one. Two, one, one, one. 
They're indeed going. It's Mariota. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. And it's no good. Elliott pulled it. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. On the counter, it's Henry. It's a big run that time by Henry. 54 yards on the ground. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now because is he rewarding himself for a great run or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? They'll try to run for it with Henry. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Mariota now on second down. Michael Bennett's versatility. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans are able to strike for six. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. First down, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It was a safety Kevin Byard that time who was able to knock it away. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. Now Foles. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Wesley Woodyard. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. A first down carry for Henry. One tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Yeah. 
Mariota. His throw incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. The Titans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Mariota to throw it. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Shotgun, it's Mariota. He'll find Taylor, that's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. not happy about something before the snap so he'll call for a timeout it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter second down perfectly designed blitz right there they took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play now from the seven here's second and goal he's gonna get it running right and this play doesn't go anywhere backwards losing yardage to the 11 it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Mariota now. Being chased out left. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Marcus Mariota with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Extra point try now for Suckup. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now 21 to 7. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They start the drive with Smallwood. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Foles. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Benny Logan able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, a forced two turnovers so far, a big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers in bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch, but it's plenty in this game, exactly the formula they need. And I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said, because it actually comes true. It happens more often than you might think. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he will not be able to get away as Foles is taken down. Derek Morgan in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Hey, sound one, sound one. Good. 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 Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now, look at the score, where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent because now you're thinking to yourself, let's just take some time off the clock. Let's Work go, it down. Go, and, of course, you put another touchdown on the board, you pretty much say bye-bye to this one. Play calling here can be a little bit more conservative because of the lead. A little bit more conservative. The biggest thing, everyone understands how to get the ball downfield and how to stay in bounds and make sure the clock keeps running. A good pick up there, 26 yards. 
Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And then you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. In for the score. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. You had fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone. Right now, what a performance he's putting on, just carving them up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Suck up for the extra point. No, oh, and the increased distance may have cost him there, as it is no good. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This fielded at the two. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted. 
intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 38, and he's able to bring it out five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at the 45. <laughs> They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. Room to run inside the 40. And down right around the 37. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Right back to him on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. time it's Henry and he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28 pretty good running there nine yards sets up a third and one well partner I know this type of running back I mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on and I can just tell you from experience the first few quarters oh you're eager you come running up there I'm gonna tackle this guy by the fourth quarter you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Henry. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry from 17 yards out. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, wh what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going up there. <laughs> but that's the virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. 
Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. He's going to win. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byard. And that will write a finish to this ball game. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.